Hello gamers and fellow survivors, this is Small Archangel and thank you for joining me for episode 16 of my 7 Days to Die Alpha 10.4 and today I have got an exciting plan well I say exciting, it could prove to be fatal um, no, I'm not going to take any of that and for that reason I am not taking ever so much with me I've crafted myself some more bullets, I've got a pistol but I'm basically taking the absolute minimum because I could lose the lot what I plan on doing today is simply this. Having found what I now consider to be my new and improved hub city, which I have not entirely um, explored yet. You can see there's some blanked out areas there. I would like to spend more time there. I would like to explore more there. To do that, I want to set up a base here. Uh, this could be a challenge. Uh, we all know what it's like in the hub city, especially when you're going it alone like I am could be a challenge, could be exciting, uh, could be insane. Um, so uh, we will basically see how this turns out. I could be being incredibly sort of brave and adventurous here or I could be being incredibly stupid and suicidal. There's only one way to find out and yeah, no time like the present. So let's do it. So I'm going to head on into the hub city now, I'm going to completely ignore any of the other zombies I uh, encounter just to preserve the durability of my weapons. I got a couple of clubs with me and bow and arrow, but my crossbow um, and a pistol, but I'm just going to completely ignore the zombies so I don't waste any ammo etc. So I'll probably have a horde of them after me by the time I get there, but I don't care. I will see you guys at the other end. Well here we are on the edge of the waste on biome and what that seriously just went straight through his head that needs sorting out should have been a bullseye that as well should have been an absolute bullseye and as you've gathered my cunning plan to avoid gathering a swarm of zombies and to avoid using up my ammo before i even hit the biome failed utterly and I did appear here with a massive swarm on my tail. And now I'm having to clear them all out. But the good news is I get some headshot practice in. I came to the conclusion I was really going to need to clear these guys out. Because while stealth does not work in the wasteland whatsoever. More of them over there. Uh, one thing that definitely draws a swarm of these guys to you is any kind of violence. So... Oh, for, right, you're going to get your head knocked. I'm glad I brought a spare club. Any more? Oh, there might be the old one, there's a nurse over there. I've already <laughs> looted some bandages off a nurse, which was good because another epic fail, I actually managed to leave uh, my face without any bandages, which was quite dumb. Thankfully, I didn't actually need them yet, but actually, I just put them in my back, which is really stupid. I actually meant them to be in my belt. So, this is not boding over well. Um, let's put them there. That's where I, where I wanted them. Ugh. Can you guys leave me alone? I wouldn't mind. I've not even crossed the boundary yet. Finally. You know I hate you guys. Right, so I can see a cop already. See, my fond hope is that I can actually get 
to somewhere in this lot. Yeah, I'm just ignoring you. Oh, um, my fond hope is that I can actually get somewhere in here and find somewhere to build a base and then I'll just deal with the zombies that are there and I hope, and I know they respawn, but I hope that I won't pick up... No, I know I need my claw because the inevitable dog will come ninjaring in from behind. Um, and there's a cop, which, gosh, you know what, there's only one way of dealing with those guys, and that's to snipe them from a distance. And they're straight in my face like that, really. Okay. There he goes. Okay, and now I'm just going to keep running. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to find a place to uh, build my base and we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping to do the actual base building within one episode, which again is probably ambitious. Not because of the base design I have in mind, far from it, probably because I'm going to spend the entire episode trying to clear the area of zombies, where that really is where I'm, you know, probably on a hiding to nothing, to be fair is that I am not going to be able to clear the zombies because you can't. Ah, but no, hey, that's what we're here for, right? To check out the uh, possibilities of what can and can't be done. I'm up for the challenge. Oh. Oh, I missed it. That was rubbish. Oh, I you. Where did you come from? Uh, I need those bandages now. Right, I'm just going to check. Yeah, I'm still going the right direction. This always helps. Getting turned around by a dog is, uh, you know, yet another way to fail in this game. Okay, so there's another cop over there who I'm going to studiously ignore even when he starts barfing in my direction. Oh, we better watch that stamina. Okay, so what I really want, what I really want is a perimeter wall so that when I'm building, um, I don't get broken, <laughs> basically. What kind of a lot would be appropriate to that? I don't know. I would like to be somewhere vaguely central, but I also need a big enough flat area to build in. And ideally, I don't really want to have to be picking up bricks and stuff as well, but hey. The car park kind of empty lot there, which might be good. An actual car park over there, but what always bugs me about those is while they might be, you know, a good short term place to build a base, sooner or later those Zeds are going to where do you go? Sooner or later those zombies are going to undermine the whole thing and make it collapse. And down will come baby cradle and all, so um, I will avoid that, I think which I think it'd be a cool base. I think I really would have to use the entire car park and fortify the whole car park. Maybe that's something I could do, you know, later on. But right now, all I want to do is build something that will enable me to stay put for long enough to gather my resources. So we got, what is this? A skip, okay. Oh, hey, there's a wall here. Check this out. What's inside here? Up, yes. If there's enough space here. A couple of tires might get in the way here. We might have to shift some stuff. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because... I cannot shoot through bars and stuff, which is a shame. I wonder if I can build in stealth mode. Or would that be a total cheat? To be honest, it probably would. But I am going to have to shift these tyres and I can't pick them up. So what's going to destroy that? Oh, wouldn't you know it? The one thing I don't have. Unbelievably, I don't have a stone axe. How did that happen? I know exactly how that happened. I trashed it in the last 
Well, we need that. I am mostly sort of quite a stealth ninja when it comes to games, but I do generally find that it doesn't stand me in brilliant stead in this game. Stealth just doesn't seem to work that well. He does if you're hunting animals, but if you're trying not to be hunted, not great. Uh, yeah, why am I still in stealth? There's no point being in stealth. I need a stone. Do I even have a pickaxe? I do have a pickaxe. So in case I need it, I will just get this rock here. So if that hasn't nailed me a stone, as it were, yeah, that's cool. Just get myself some more grass in case I need to make a second stone axe, but I don't think so. Okay, over we go. Okay, so as I say, this might take me more than one episode. I think probably, yeah. <laughs> keep my club for obvious reasons. I'm going to need all those before I do anything else. Oh yeah, stone axe. Tools, stone axe, go. Okay, so the things I reckon are going to be in a way Collect tire. Do you really? I can pick them up. Okay. There might be a useful use for these things. I'm not sure. And then that might just have to go. Oh wow! If I the whole thing is just gonna. Hey, whatever. And this is gonna attract zombie attention too. Oh well. Not much point going to self mode and then chopping down a lamppost and the whole thing falls down. <laughs> Hello zombies, is anybody in town? Because you can't not have heard that. Okay, so gonna build and if this doesn't attract zombie attention, I have, this is gonna be a whole lot easier than I thought. Although I have been known to stymie myself sty me myself in the past by just being a little bit too complacent. Okay, so this place, this base is not going to be, you know, anything fancy. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, trouble with stealth mode. You are... Oh, nuts to it. I can't do it. was meant to be open. It's going to be a very, very basic base. Oh yeah, someone's seen me. Joy. Maybe stealth was my friend after all. Well, now it's deserted me, so... Gonna bring all his friends to him. And this is also where I hope that I have brought enough blocks. I love these blocks, but I've never tried making a whole base out of them before <laughs> with nothing else. One of the things I like is you can place them quick and you can pick them up again. And here comes a nice distraction. 
They must have thought I was you know, lonely or something. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, see the problem there. Where's my pickaxe? Just, you know, in case there's zombies in the entire city who haven't. Uh huh. We have a breach. In case there's play zombies in the biome that haven't actually heard me yet. They have now. I hate how a plate like this takes up an entire block. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how much time I've actually got before these guys all start really distracting me from my job. It doesn't take me long to build this, but... And this design itself is entirely untested, hence another slight wrinkle in my my plans, my scheme. Potential wrinkle could just ah, spider zombie calling a nice board for me. Oh my, here he is. Oh no, he got me. Wow, right, okay. Oh no, there's another metal thing. Oh, I can't do this. I think I'm listening to my own footsteps and getting freaked out. The other good thing about these blocks is the way that well, you can pick them up when you inevitably mess up, but you can, they're quite intelligent blocks, so they sort of revolve themselves around to be in the right facing the right direction which I like as well so no messing about like that because I really haven't got time to be messing about at the moment twizzling them around to face the right way okay so we've pretty much got that side sorted let's do this one. Oh my where did you come from you swine okay um Those guys can just worm through the smallest hole. And I just saw a dog levitating at the top of that wall. Pretty sure it was a dog anyway. What else would be levitating over the top of a wall? Okay, have we more or less now? Oh 
have I done those all now? Yes, no. Okay, I think I have. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, that's wrong. Of course, it's the spiders that get in, huh? Of course you get in. You just climb over, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've done this one. Now... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, I was hoping one of those guys wouldn't show up, but... I'm nearly done here. Oh, no. A dog. Oh, no. Too late. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Very dead indeed. Okay, so here I am way back in my bunker, which is about four million miles from where I needed to be down there. So that would be a slight fail then. There we have a waypoint. That was my base. I had literally about two uh, blocks to lay and before that ma massive immense horde came in and that was the end of me. So. Uh, join me for the next exciting episode, um, which will be part two of Base in the City. Um, <laughs> my Base in the City, when hopefully I will, yeah, not die again immediately. So, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Just, yeah, I looked like I was very close to succeeding there. But basically, what I'm going to do now is make my sorry way all the way back to that biome, pick up all my gear, because uh, yeah, I don't really want to lose it all, and uh, yeah, finish off my base, because I must have been literally two blocks, blocks from finishing this thing, really quite disappointing, <laughs> if it had just held out well, that tiny bit longer, that barrier, um, I would have been, I would have been good, okay guys, so, Thank you for watching, and um, as I say, uh, we'll pick it up next episode, um, when, yeah, I will hopefully be back at my base, though it'll probably be tomorrow, the next day by then, because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it back there by dark, uh, although you never know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and catch you later, bye!